our next guest was born, the midwife declared one day she would be famous. And guess what? It came true. Please welcome the exceptionally talented, beautiful, and magnanimous Naomi Watts. What a wild prediction that the midwife like said one day. I mean, that's the story my mom tells me and yeah, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. She well, got a big imagination too, so maybe she. Or maybe it was just one of those witchy poo moments yes, where the woman maybe. knew that you would one day become like. One maybe of... she said it to every mom though. I doubt. Well, you never know. We'll have to find her and, you know. Yeah. Now, your mom was a model and your dad was a sound engineer for Pink Floyd? Yes, yes. Well, my mom... I know! Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah. And is it true that, like, when you were younger, you kind of wished your parents were less cool? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I wished um, my mom would turn up to school in, like, a three-piece suit and you know, be wearing some, I don't know, nylon threads. They were just never those people. Um, my mom wore like leather boots, platform, you know, leather pants, hair, you know, be rocking her way in. I'd be, please, mom. <laughs> I, I longed for normal, you know, straight parents. You know, they were not that. Okay, so you are like award accoladed, like one of the most important, esteemed, prestigious actresses on the planet. And I know that you can do many, many accents. Okay. And many <laughs> dialects, you've conquered them all, but is it true that Irish is something that maybe you haven't yet or you want to do? I would like to. I would love to play an Irish girl. And it's sort of close. I, I spent time as a kid growing up in Wales because I have a Welsh or had a Welsh grandfather. So we were around lots of Irish people. And so, yeah, I love how an Irish person sounds. It's, it's have you ever done an Irish accent? Well, are you trying to get me to do one, Drew? <laughs> yes, I was! Yes, I was! I'll, I'll just throw a few words at you. They're really cliched, but leprechaun. Leprechaun. Blarney stone. Blarney stone. <laughs> pint of the good stuff. Oh, give us a pint of the good stuff, Drew. <laughs> and of course, the luckiest of them all, the four-leaf clover. A four-leaf clover will do your day right. I mean, I of course. You, you probably didn't even practice that. Like, no, definitely not. Um, I, I, I tend to do accents all the time for the girls. Yes. Um, but if it comes to a role, I am terrified of doing accents, and I over-prepare, and I work with dialect coaches. Is it something that comes naturally to you? Do you study very hard? I have to work really, really hard. People think that you can do it, like just breeze in, but no, it takes hours and hours and hours of work. And yet you make it look so effortless. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I, I find it, it, sometimes it's a great tool to get you closer to the story of the character, but it doesn't get easier with practice, which is surprising to me. Okay, speaking of true stories, I wanna talk about The Watcher, which is coming out on Netflix. And it's based on a true story. What can you tell us? Um, yeah, who is the watcher? It says it all. This beautiful family that live in, the, um, in New York City are wanting to move out and live in a bigger house and leafy green streets. And um, they think they have their dream moment with this home and it doesn't go that way. Oh no, dream, no, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it's not only the scariest premise and, and, and the most terrifying like n nightmare, but it's a true story. Correct. Well, it's based on a true story. That means it's true. <laughs> I can't handle how terrifying this is. And it's, you know, we, listen, I, we, we work in, in, in film and 
television and you just don't want to believe these things can really happen. And this one is seriously one of the scariest things you'll ever watch. And it's so, it's, it looks so good. Thank you. I mean, I hope you watch it, guys. Well, watch The Watcher, because yes. it comes out October 13th. And get ready to freak out. Okay, so you are like the queen of skincare. And um, you have this amazing uh, new line that I've been playing with called Stripes. And boy, is it incredible. You shared this video. Look at this. But why do you look hot doing that? <laughs> Because I'm upside down. <laughs> no, that is not. Everyone was... looks good from that angle. Oh, let, you know what? I'm going to put that theory to the test because we're going to get on a massage table and Naomi's going to do her skincare regime. And I got to tell you, there's a very different point of view on your skincare. And I'm really excited to get into it because it's also based in the support of perimenopause and menopause. And as someone who's in the dead heat of perimenopause, <laughs> I'm ready for this. I am ready for this moment. Where have you been the last few months? Perimenopause is no joke. Yeah, it is not for the faint of heart. And this is why I wanted to do it.